Coffers. It's Monday morning, September 15th, and it's time for another episode of Coffee with Kurt. Thank you for joining me here today. I am going to get right to the point. Uh, we've been uh, promoting the idea of, of making a new commitment in your team network, networking, and, um, and get, becoming a little bit more active and, and taking advantage of all the things that Team Network has to offer, not only to help yourself, but to help your fellow teammates, because after all, we are the Team Network, so we're all in this together. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what it is to be successful in Team Network and uh, what it is to mean to be a team player, to get in the game. I mean, it's Team Network, get in the game. So what does it mean? Well, it's simply go to your scorecard and, and check out the exercises and activities that you should be doing every week, every month, and, uh, and then scoring those by going to your scorecard, um, you know, I'm, I'm probably talking to the choir here because if you're watching Coffee with Kurt, you're probably already engaged. But, you know, I was talking to a fellow team member, uh, team member who is really quite an engaged member. And she, uh, when I went through the scorecard, she said, oh, I didn't know what that, you know, the uh, touches meant. And, uh, Oh, oh, that's what that means. So, you know, we were able to clarify a few things. So I think we all could use a little bit of a lesson. I thought we'd take a, a few minutes just to go over some of the things and then kind of relate them because we've got a, a, a really big week this week in Team Network and there's all kinds of opportunity for you to be a, a great Team Network member to help yourself and to help your teammates. So um, let's see what's going on here. What do you need to do to, uh, to be a good member? Well, certainly sending referrals. You get five points for that. Uh, attend your team monthly Marty, you get three points for that. You RSVP, simply just, you know, let us know you're coming or not and you get a point for that. Um, the Carol Howard Connectors and the fan team are combining for a, a lunch in Mount Airy, so that's a, that would be a, a power lunch, so you could call that uh, uh, an opportunity to, to network with some of the people up here. And then the Mid-Atlantic uh, networking organization is doing a big event out in Baltimore, so you know, when you visit another networking event and you see a Team Network member there, you get a, you get a touch for that. So you get a, a touch for going to the, the uh, Power Lunch and then head over to Mid-Atlantic into Baltimore and do some networking there and, get, and score some more points. Um, tomorrow, the Bethesda Rockville Rainmakers are Martine with the Lower Montgomery Lear. So that would be an opportunity to maybe, uh, if you're a member of those organizations, score some points. But you can visit those groups, Bethesda Rockville, the... the um, the Marty is a real estate thing. We've got a realtor and a title company meeting down in Bethesda. So if you're tied in to Team Network and get a lot of business from that um, that marketplace, really try to get over there if, there's, if your category is not filled. And uh, visit. then the Lower Montgomery Leaders, they're really uh, geared up to, to uh, have a great Marty and grow their group. We're meeting at John Lynn's. And he's in, um, he's in Gaithersburg on 355. And then the Carol Howard Connectors, up here in Sykesville, they're doing a happy hour huddle, so come on up here and uh, and score some points. Now on Wednesday, we've got a net fast, um, and we've got a great speaker. Chuck Douglas is speaking at the Potomac Grill. Uh, definitely don't miss that one. It's going to talk about sales and um, sales techniques and help increase your business with less work. Uh, definitely want to tune into that. It's $10, and you need to pre-register for that. You can do that on the website. The Upper Montgomery Marketeers are marting that night, and uh, and then you guys might remember Rochelle Fernandez. She's uh, she's doing an event. She's got a, a connect. She calls it connect, um, and they're meeting at Bull America uh, that evening. So there's another networking opportunity. You can score some points and to see some team network members there. And then on Thursday, NRG Summit over in Laurel at the Holiday Inn. That's in the morning, and then the Potomac Power Team. And I'm going to have a table there, by the way. Uh, trying to drum up some uh, potential business for everybody. And uh, the P Potomac Power Team, brand new group, starting. And uh, Chris Gupta, the captain, is doing a Marty at his home. So you could visit uh, various organizations. You can, um, you can visit other teams. You can go to your own Marty. Um, you can do a power lunch. You can go to a huddle. And um, you get various points for this. And, and you know... I do want to congratulate the Rockville Action Team. They scored the over 3,000 points now this week. They, uh, that's a big mark, 3,000 points. And it's coming in second place, 1,923 points. The Upper Montgomery Marketeers, then the North Potomac Shakers come in third, just behind them with 1,327 points. The Silver Spring Team is fourth with 1,067 points. The Bethesda Rockville Rainmakers, 900. 
and the Carroll Howard Connectors has 711 points. But, you know, I did a little bit of a calculation here, and for instance, the Carroll Howard Connectors with 711 points, but they only have 10 members. So that's that's 71 points per member. That's a, that's a great score because you look at the Silver Spring Spirit, which is a large group. They only have 46 points per member. Uh, the Rat Pack has 137 points per member. And, uh, and then look at the North Potomac Shakers, also very strong with only with 1,327 points. They have 95 points per member, where the Upper Montgomery Marketeers have 1,900 points, and that's 92 points per member. So that's a little bit under the North Potomac Shakers. So anyway, why is this important? Again, it's, it's all about teamwork. It's all about helping yourself generate new business. It's all about uh, making connections and, and, and building your relationships for the long term. And, uh, you know, on each one of the uh, profiles, each team has a, has a score there, listed a team score. If I'm a, someone who's exploring Team Network as a potential networking organization, what team am I going to, if, if you look, think about yourself. If you were joining a group, would you join the group that uh, has, you know, 20 members and uh, 1,000 points? Or would you join the group with 20 members that has 3,000 points? doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. I'm going to be looking to join the group that's most active and uh, generating and helping each other become better business people and improving the quality of their lives. So that's what we had today on, on uh, Coffee with Kurt. Thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next Monday. I'm sure Monday morning uh, we'll be back. So we'll see you next week.